it happened. Elon Musk's new Tesla Semi finally hitting the market. Tesla is the ultimate publicity machine. Now the Tesla Semi has been teased for quite some time, but if you're wondering when it will finally hit the market and what all the fuss is about, keep watching till the end to learn more about this incredible product. Apple is the only other company that can generate the level of excitement that Tesla can for a product. Nonetheless, Tesla has surpassed Apple as the company with the most ardent supporters. The Tesla Semi is a legendary Tesla product, similar to the Tesla Cybertruck. What do these two items have in common? Apart from the fact that they both have absurd Tesla performance figures, they're also not for sale. This could change for the Cybertruck by 2023, but don't count on it. In the case of the Semi, the release date could be closer than any of us expected. Musk made the announcement on Twitter, which he may or may not own at some point in the future. PepsiCo will be the first company to receive electric trucks after years of anticipation on December 1st. Musk also announced in the same tweet that Tesla had begun production of the truck for other customers. The figures are almost as bizarre as those for the Model S Plaid. First and foremost, the Tesla Semi is a full-fledged semi-truck with only one gear. This is great because truck drivers no longer have to fish for gears while climbing hills or starting from a stop. Talking about its history and production. The Semi was first mentioned in Tesla's 2016 master plan. Tesla stated at the time that they had a working prototype that utilized a slew of Tesla Model 3 electric motors. Jerome Guillen was in charge of the Tesla Semi program as of April 2017. Guillen was previously in charge of Freightliner's Cascadia diesel engine Class 8 Semi before joining Tesla to configure the Model S production line. However, Guillen left the Semi program a year later to lead one of the Model 3 General Assembly lines and subsequently became Tesla President of Automotive in September 2018. As of late 2019, the new leader of the Semi program had not been publicly announced. Tesla held a Semi and Roadster unveiling event in December 2017, during which Musk stated, Production of the Semi begins in 2019, so if you order now, you get the truck in two years. We guarantee this truck will not break down for a million miles," Musk added. In June 2019, Tesla expected that production would begin by the end of 2020. A few months later, in the October 2019 Q3 investor call, they maintained the 2020 production target, although in limited numbers. Tesla announced a winter testing program for the Semi in cold weather and low traction conditions to reservation holders in mid-January 2020. A few weeks later, during the 2019 Q4 earnings call, Elon Musk mentioned the lack of battery production capability as one limiting factor for the conservative Semi production timeline, opting to use battery supply for passenger cars instead. Musk announced in January 2021 that Semi production would be delayed until the end of the year in order to ramp up high volume production of its battery cells to meet the demand for the Semi and other vehicles. Musk announced at the 2021 shareholder meeting that production of the Semi would not begin in 2021, but would most likely begin in 2023. Tesla announced plans in May 2021 for low-volume initial production of the Semi in a warehouse outside of Giga Nevada. Still, as of March 2021, actual mass production was scheduled to take place in Austin, Texas. Musk announced on Twitter in October 2022 the start of production of the 500-mile, 800-kilometer range model that would be delivered to PepsiCo on December 1st, 2022. When is the Tesla Semi launching? Okay, so two awesome pieces of Tesla news rolled into one awesome Elon Musk tweet. The Semi is expected to begin deliveries in 2022. The tweet also confirms the launch of the Cybertruck in 2023. These are both fantastic developments. It's also fantastic that they're launching the 500-mile Semi, which is probably the model that everyone will choose anyway. It's truly amazing to see Tesla deliver on a slew of products that many thought were doomed. If you've been waiting for the news on the Semi, this update should make you very happy. The costs are difficult to predict. Due to the fluctuations in diesel and maintenance costs, the diesel fuel price per gallon was $2.50 when the Semi was unveiled in 2017. Five years later, it is more than doubled. Because electricity is 2.5 times cheaper per mile, Tesla estimates that operators will save $200,000 over three years. There will also be significant savings because the truck will not have to be left in the shop for routine maintenance and will spend less time off the road due to cracked windshields. The aerodynamics of the Semi result in even more significant cost savings when they operate in a convoy. A three-truck convoy traveling at 60 miles per hour is estimated to cost $0.85 per mile. That price outperforms not only diesel trucks, but also trains. 
electric trucks, such as Tesla Semi or Lion Electrics trucks, will get up to $40,000 in incentives under the new proposed Inflation Reduction Act of 2022. Following the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 announcement in the U.S. Senate, the EV community is understandably focused on federal EV tax credit reform. It will restore access to the incentive for Tesla and GM EV buyers. There are also a slew of other requirements that should keep things interesting if the bill becomes law. Other aspects of the bill concern electric vehicles, but not consumer electric vehicles. There is, for example, a section for commercial clean vehicles, which is expected to apply to electric trucks. This is most likely intended to encourage the sale of electric semi-trucks such as the Tesla Semi, Daimler's Freightliner Cascadia, and even fuel cell hydrogen electric trucks such as Nikola Motors vehicles. Tesla lists the Tesla Semi as starting at $150,000. At that price point, the electric vehicle already has a lower operating cost per mile than diesel trucks, which currently dominate the trucking industry. The main issue for electric trucks right now is ramping up production, both of the actual electric tractors and of the batteries required to build them, as each class of electric semi-trucks would require 5 to 10 batteries. PepsiCo reserved 100 Tesla semi-electric trucks in 2017 in order to reduce fuel costs and fleet emissions. PepsiCo CEO Ramon LaGuarta told CNBC last year that transportation accounted for 10% of the company's gas emissions. The manufacturer of Mountain Dew Soda and Doritos Chips previously stated that the trucks will be used to transport snack foods and beverages between manufacturing and distribution centers, as well as to retailers. Battery Although Tesla has not yet disclosed the exact size of the batteries in the Tesla Semi, they have provided enough information for us to accurately estimate its size. Tesla estimates that the Semi will have an efficiency of fewer than 1.24 kilowatt hours per kilometer. Tesla has also stated that the Semi will have a range of approximately 480 or 580 kilometers. With these two pieces of information, we can speculate that the Semi will be available in two variants, a long range model with a 1000 kilowatt hour or one megawatt hour battery and a standard version with a 600 kilowatt battery. In comparison, a 2022 Model S has a 100 kilowatt hour battery, so the Tesla Semi will have a battery that is six to ten times the size of its smaller cousin. Because the current can be spread across more batteries, a larger battery will allow the Semi to charge faster than Tesla's current models. The Semi has the same safety features as Tesla's current vehicles, the same standards that have earned Tesla numerous accolades, enhanced autopilot, automatic emergency braking, automatic lane keeping, and forward collision warning are all standard features on the Semi. The company also believes that moving the driver's seat to the center of the vehicle makes the Semi safer in the event of a collision. Because the battery pack is located at the bottom and middle of the vehicle, it has a low center of gravity. This is the same as in current Teslas, lowering the vehicle's likelihood of rolling over. Jackknifing is impossible, Musk declared. He claimed that because of the independent motors, the Semi would detect jackknifing and adjust the torque to the wheels required to keep the vehicle from skidding out of control. With this truck, your worst nightmare is gone. You never have to worry about it again. Musk summed up the experience of driving a Tesla Semi best. It's like driving a Model S or X or 3. It's just big. Today, big trucks on the road can have anywhere from 10 to 18 gears. That's quite a bit of shifting. The Tesla Semi operator only needs to shift into drive. It's less tiring and allows truckers to concentrate more on the road. The driver's seat is in the center of the expansive cockpit, which is also tall enough for a person to stand in. The sleeper cab portion of the vehicle was not shown in the photos or the videos. However, there is enough space behind the cockpit to accommodate a sleeping area. Musk made an astonishing promise at the unveiling. The Semi will not break down for a million miles. Because of the independent drivetrains, he was confident in that figure. If one motor fails, the others can take up the slack. Musk claimed that even if only two of the motors were turned on, the Semi would outperform a diesel truck in terms of performance. Trucks put brakes to the test due to the amount of weight they carry. However, as with other Teslas, the brakes will be used as generators, recharging the battery. Brake pads literally last forever, Musk claims. The absence of an internal combustion engine means no transmission, emission scrubber, or differentials to maintain.